Hi, in this video we will be taking a look at year rate, brackets, equations and inequalities. This is from the White Rose Maths Worksheets, okay, and it's got resources from year 1 right the way through to year 11 maths for both tiers for GCSC maths, okay. We're going to start with question number one. Match each statement with the correct expression. Six multiplied by y. Well, six multiplied by y looks like this. Okay, so it's written as six y. So this one matches up with this one. Okay. Six more than y. Well, that's the same as saying y plus the six. Okay. Or it might be written as six plus y. Okay. Either way is the correct convention. So you, it is important to get used to the fact that things can be written in a slightly different way, but it means the same thing. Okay. So y plus six is going to be this one. Y is is less than 6. Well, I've got 6 and then I've got y less than that. So I do 6 take away y. Okay, so that's going to be that. So you are always following the convention in the order that it's written. So it's y less than 6. It's not 6 less than y. 6 less than y, which we are about to come on to, is actually y take away 6. Okay, because it's 6 less than y. So it's y take away 6 or minus 6 plus y, either one. So that one's going to go there. This is question number two, guys. Complete the identity. Four lots of x plus 5 is equivalent. Well, 4 times x, we should know is 4x. And 4 times positive 5 is a positive 20. So the answer is 4x plus 20, or examiners will also allow 20 plus 4x. So either one of those is also correct. Okay, I'm putting both conventions because sometimes a question might be worded in a way or presented in a way where it doesn't always look um, immediately obvious what to do. So that's why I'm trying to put like different conventions. Okay, so this bar model can be used to help us. Okay, you've got four lots of x, which is one, two, three, four, and then I've got four lots of five. Okay, so look at the bottom row here. Or I can look at the second row and say, okay, I've got x plus x plus x plus x, which is four x, five plus five plus five plus five is 20. Or the first row, when I add up my terms, x plus x plus x plus x, by collecting like terms, I get four x, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, is plus 20, or positive 20. This is the second question. Okay, expand this bracket. Well, 3 times 2x is 6x, okay, and 3 times positive 7 is a positive 21. Okay, so it's 6x plus 21, but again, examiners will also allow 21 plus 6x. Okay, either way is still the correct answer, provided that my signs are staying consistent. Okay, so 21 plus 6x is the same as 6x plus 21. This is question number three, guys. Expand and simplify. So doing each bracket separately. So five lots of 2p is 10p. Five lots of negative three. So five times negative three is negative 15 because a positive times a negative is a negative. And then I've got minus two times two, which is minus four. And minus 2 times positive 3p, which is minus 6p. I'm now going to combine my like terms together. So 10p take away 6p is 4p. And minus 15 minus 4 is minus 19. Okay, that's my answer for that question. Next question, expand this single bracket, 2d times d. Well, d times d is d squared, so it's going to be 2d squared. And then I've got 2d times positive 3. Okay, remember that everything inside the bracket is times by the term on the outside of the bracket, 2d times positive 3 is positive 6d, okay, 
And that's how we expand a single bracket, guys. Okay? This is question number four. Solve this equation. Well, if I add five to both sides to balance it respectively, okay, whatever I do to one side, I must do the same to the other. I get 3x is equal to 36. Dividing both sides by 3, because 3x means 3 times x, I'm going to get that x is equal to 36 divided by 3, which is 12. So x is equal to 12. Okay, so I hope it's making sense so far. This is question number 5. Factorise 6x minus 9. So factorise is the opposite of expand. So it's given us the expression and we are asked to put it into bracket. So this one's going to be a single bracket because I've got two terms here. The highest common factor between the two numbers, 6 and 9, is actually 3. Okay, that's the highest common factor. 3 times 2x is 6x. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Okay, so you can check your answer by expanding the double bracket. Okay, so you can check by expanding that bracket. Okay, next question, guys. Factorise fully 6a plus 10ab. Well, the highest common factor or factors out of this actually is, is going to be a number and a letter because I've got an a common in both. So I, I can take an a out straight away. The highest common factor between 6 and 10, well, that's actually going to be 2. Okay, so it's the highest number that goes into both of those numbers. 2a times 3 is 6a, sorry guys. 2a times 5b gives us my answer. Okay, so it's 2a brackets 3 plus 5b or 2a brackets 5b plus 3. Again, either way is correct. Okay, just make sure that you are consistent with your signs okay this is question number six guys solve the inequality so I, I treat inequalities the same as an equation i'm going to subtract three on both sides of my inequality 21 take away three is 18 18 is less than or equal to 2x dividing both sides by two i get x is greater than or equal to 9, or reading it from left to right, 9 is less than or equal to x, which is the same as saying x is greater than or equal to 9. Okay, this is question number 7, guys. A ruler cost x pence. A pen cost 10 pence more than a ruler. Write an expression in terms of x for the cost of a pen. Well, the cost of a pen will be x plus 10, or 10 plus x. Either way, is correct, okay, x plus 10. The next one, write an expression in terms of x for the total cost of three pens and two rulers. Well, I'm going to have 3x plus two lots of x plus 10, okay, because it, it's doubling that. So two lots of x plus 10. Expanding this bracket, I get 2x plus 20, and then I've got the plus 3x to deal with. So again, collecting the like terms. So collecting all my x terms together. 3x plus 2x is 5x. So the final answer is equal to 5x plus 20. Okay. That's my answer for that question. This is question number eight, guys. Okay, the H stands for higher tier. So it's for those students that are trying to push themselves a bit higher, okay, and a bit further. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Okay, form and solve an equation to find T. So these two lines means that this length, okay, and this length are the same. Also means that that angle and that angle are the same as well, if you're interested. Okay, so isosceles means that two angles are equal and two lengths are equal. Okay, depending on the side that is actually um, has the line on it. 3T 
minus 8 is equal to 2t plus 5. Okay, so solving this equation, guys, if I subtract 2t on both sides to balance... Oops, looks like a next there, guys. Sorry about that. So subtract 2t on both sides. So I get all my t's on one side. 3t minus 2t is just t. Take away 8 is equal to positive 5. Adding 8 to both sides, I get t is equal to 13 centimetres. Or 13. Okay, either way is fine. Okay. Okay. This is question number 9, guys. Find an expression for the area of the rectangle, giving your answer in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So the area of a rectangle, guys, we should know, is the length times the width. So it's x plus 5 times x plus x minus 2. So this is actually forming and um, expanding a double bracket, which is slightly more trickier and it is a bit more involved, but I'll take my time with it. Okay, so everything inside the first bracket is being times by everything inside the second bracket. X times X is X squared. Okay, so following my arrows, okay, X times negative 2 is minus 2X. 5 times x is positive 5x, and 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, guys, okay? So this is what I call the FOIL method. The last part I'm going to do now is just tidy this up actually by collecting like terms. Minus 2x plus 5x is plus 3x, so my final answer is just x squared plus the 3x minus 10, okay? And that is an expression for the area because we don't know what the value of x is, but the general expression for the area is x squared plus 3x minus 10, okay? And it should be an x there and not that jargon, guys. So x, there we go x there okay and then it's minus 10 guys